Okay, everyone, I am here with the legendary Dr. Ken Berry. Okay, he's one of the first resources, one of the first people I found when I started the keto diet. I'm sure as many as many of you can attest to, like I've been enjoying hearing you all weekend, like just your knowledge oh, and your engagement. I really appreciate it so much. I would say if I was gonna ask you a question, what would you say to people um, starting the keto diet? I have a lot of new people uh, to keto that follow me sure, and yeah. look at my videos. What is maybe one or two pieces of advice that you would give them, uh, especially since there's so much information yeah, out there, yeah. what would you give them how to about, start with? And how about I give you four easy steps, the first four steps to starting keto, because everybody tries to make keto complicated, mm. and this is a, a law of human nature. Anytime somebody's trying to make something complicated, they're about to try to sell you something. I was gonna say that, yes. Right? So step one, get rid of all sugar out of your diet, and that includes organic agave nectar, mm -hmm. that includes locally sourced non-GMO honey. honey yep. They're all sugar. Get all that out of your diet. Your body doesn't need any of that. Step two, get rid of all grains. Rice, wheat, corn, and oats. That's the toughen. Uh, for sure, oatmeal is not good for you. Repeat after me, oatmeal is not good for me. That just goes against everything that we right. learn from a, from yeah. a dieting culture exactly. and a weight loss right. culture. Any I'm... diabetics out there, if you don't believe me, eat a big bowl of steel cut oats and check your blood sugar an hour later and you'll never eat oats again. Mm -hmm. So, and that also includes amaranth, quinoa, millet, mm -hmm. rye, all the grains. They're great for keeping you from starving to death. If you, so if you're on the verge of starvation, eat some grains. But if you're trying to optimize your health, you need to avoid all grains. Step three, get rid of all industrial seed oils. Yes. If you have a bottle of canola oil or shortening in your cabinet, stop what you're doing, pause this right now, go to the kitchen and throw that shit in the garbage. It is poison. My okay? hero. Corn oil, soybean oil, peanut oil, safflower, sunflower, all of these things have a terrible omega-3 to omega-6 ratio. They will cause inflammation in some part of your body and that will manifest as disease. Stop eating all the industrial seed oils. Use real fats like bacon grease, like beef tallow, like avocado oil, olive oil. These are real oils, okay? And then step four, eat more fat. Eat yes. more good, healthy fat. Eat your ribeye, eat your bacon, Great. eat your egg yolks. If you want to throw away the whites, I'm okay with that, but eat the yolk. Okay, eat your butter, eat your, cook everything in bacon grease. This is how you start to reverse your health. Everything that your great, 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 great grandmother did was right. But this diet that we're told to eat now, lots of whole grains and low saturated fat, it's a fad diet, okay? And it's killing us. It's a fad diet based on no research whatsoever. So if your doctor says eat whole grains, say show me the research, and your doctor will go, uh, what? Because there is no research showing that that's healthy. The, the, the guidelines that the federal government put out for you to eat by are based on no research. You're being experimented on I'm without cry. your permission, okay? Step one, two, three, and four. When you do that, then you can start watching some YouTube videos and other stuff and learn the details. But that's the four first steps, and you don't have to buy a single product. You don't have to buy a single supplement. Just stop poisoning your body with the first three steps, which are all crap, and start feeding your body with lots of fatty meat. That's it. Dr. Ken Berry, every mic drop. I'm just gonna drop that. It. It's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much yeah. for your knowledge, for your engagement, just for your contributions to this community and the medical community as a whole. Like, this has really just made my entire trip. Thank you so much. Uh, my pleasure. I'm bringing it in. Oh bring it in, God. bring it in. If you guys haven't hit that follow or subscribe button now, exactly. what's wrong with you? Exactly, and if you're not following Dr. Berry, like, I don't even understand life. So that's gonna be in the description box as well. So like, KetoCon 2019, like, I'm done. See you next Thank you so much. <laughs>